Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, we're gonna learn how to crochet the Candy Shop Cow. This is a fun and easy cow completed in just five rounds. So it's a very quick project with bulky yarn. And what we have here are rounds of double crochet and then a really fun row of puff stitches and then topped off with some more double crochet. And again, it's completed in just five rounds and it makes a very fun and pretty cozy cow. So let's get started. The finished cow measures about six inches tall and has a circumference of about 32 inches. For this project, you'll need a 10 millimeter P crochet hook, a tapestry needle, a pair of scissors, and as an option, you can also use a ruler or tape measure if you'd like to measure as you go along. For your yarn, I'm going to be using Red Heart's uh, Mixology yarn. However, you can use any super bulky yarn you like. And this is the Mixology in the Swirl. This is the party print. And this is the Mixology in the Solids. Uh, this is the pink. And if you'd like a little more information about this particular yarn, I have a video and I will link up to that as well. So let's get started. We're going to begin using this swirl yarn, but you can use any yarn you like, any color scheme. You could do one round um, and one color for each round. I'm going to do a couple rounds in this, and then we're going to do a round of puff stitches in the pink. Okay, so whenever I'm using these kind of fuzzy yarns like this, I like to put a little tiny knot at the beginning, just at the very, very end, just so it doesn't come off. Just as a side note, so it doesn't pull apart. Okay, so just put a little knot at the bottom like that. Next, we're going to do our starting chain. So I'm gonna get a little bit of yarn, and we'll put a slip knot on our hook. So to make a slip knot, wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop, Bring the yarn behind that loop, reach in with your crochet hook and bring up a loop and then just tighten. Our cowl has a starting chain of 36. So we're gonna be working in the round. So we'll make our starting chain and then join it to form the very beginning of our cowl. So to make a chain, wrap yarn around hook and bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, four, five, 35 and 36, okay? So here is our starting chain. So we're gonna go all the way down to the end in this first chain that we made, also the chain farthest from our hook. We're going to join with a slip stitch to make our circle, and then we'll work our cow upward from there, okay? So insert your hook in that farthest chain from your hook, the first chain you made, and then wrap yarn around hook, bring it through that loop, and bring that loop through the loop that's already on your hook. We now have the bottom of our cow, okay? So let's move on to row one. I'm gonna get some more yarn. These bulky yarn projects, you move through the yarn really quickly. So I also wanted to point out, we have our tail here. I'm gonna hold this tail along the edge as we work, and that will weave it in as we go along. So for round one, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. That will give us the, the height that we need, okay? So in each chain of this round, we're going to be working a double crochet. So I wanted to also point out, if you're using kind of a fuzzy, um, if you look at this strand, it's, it kind of has like a um, fuzzy kind of ripply texture. Um, sometimes with these chains, you kind of have to feel feel for the chain if they're um, kind of fuzzy and hard to see. So just keep that in mind while you're working. So anyway, in the first chain here that we come to, we're gonna work a double crochet. And again, I'm holding this tail along the edge as I work. So to make a double crochet, wrap yarn around hook, insert it into the chain, bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops on your hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops on your hook. Okay, we're gonna do this all the way around, working a double crochet in each chain, all the way around our cowl. Okay, so I'm gonna continue 
doing this. And again, I'm holding this tail along the edge as I work. I'm going to continue working a double crochet in each chain all the way around. And then when we get towards the end of this round, we'll rejoin. So I'm just working that last double crochet in the last chain. And then what we're going to do is where we began the chain three at the beginning of this round, we're going to join with a slip stitch to close the round. So at the top of that, that uh, chain three that we did, insert the hook into the chain and bring up a loop, then bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. And our round is closed. Okay, so for round two, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to re repeat what we've just done. But instead of working into the chains, we're going to be working into the stitches. So what we're going to do is chain three, one, two, three, and then in the first stitch and in each stitch all the way around, we're going to work a double crochet. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to work my double crochets and then we'll rejoin towards the end of the round. Okay, I'm just coming up to the end of the round, just working that last double crochet. And then we're gonna do the same thing. In the top of that chain three from the previous row, we're going to just work a slip stitch to close the round. Okay, so rounds one and two are complete. We're now gonna switch over to the pink. And again, you can use any colors you like. I'm gonna cut the yarn and go ahead and fasten off. Okay. So we can put our blue, our party print aside for a moment. And then I'm gonna just grab this pink. And then the stitch where we left off, go ahead and insert your hook and bring this new yarn through. We're just gonna tie it right on. Now as a side note, there's lots and lots of ways to join yarn. If you have a preferred way of joining yarn, go ahead and do that. Feel free to definitely do that. So I just brought the new yarn through and I'm just gonna tie it right on. Now we can weave these ends in as we go along or we can leave them till later. I'm just gonna kind of push them out of the way for now. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just reinsert the hook back into that same stitch, bring up a loop, and chain three. One, two, three. Okay, so what we're going to do in each stitch here is work a puff stitch. And this is kind of the candy shop cowl where I got its name because it kind of looks like a row of little candies, like gumballs or something like that, all in a line. And then this, this kind of reminded me of cotton candy. So hence the name. Okay. So this first stitch, and again, with these fuzzy yarns, sometimes you have to kind of feel for the stitch a little bit, okay? So in each stitch all the way around, we're going to work a puff stitch and then close the top of the stitch with a chain one just to lock it in place, okay? So what we're gonna do to make the puff stitch is wrap the yarn around the hook, insert it into the stitch, bring up a loop, you'll have three loops on your hook. Wrap yarn around the hook, insert it back into the same stitch, and bring up a loop. You'll now have one, two, three, four, five loops on your hook. Then one more time, wrap yarn around the hook, insert it back into that stitch, bring up a loop. Then we're going to wrap yarn around the hook and bring it through all the loops on our hook. Now you might have to kind of wiggle the hook through a little bit because it's a lot of yarn and a lot of loops and it's bulky. So you might have to kind of wiggle it through a little bit, okay? Then we're going to chain one. and See how this, this is gonna close the top of that puff stitch, okay? So it's gonna look kind of like that. Okay, let's do the same thing in the next stitch. Wrap yarn around the hook, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook. Wrap yarn around the hook, insert it back into the stitch and bring up a loop five loops on the hook. Let me grab a little more yarn here. And one more time, wrap yarn around the hook, bring up a loop, seven loops around the hook. If you notice, I kind of get all these lined up and kind of like neaten them up and kind of give it a tug. That kind of helps. Okay, so wrap yarn around the hook again and bring it through all these loops that are now on your hook, all seven loops. And we might have to 
Again, kind of wiggle it through. There's a lot of bulky yarn on our hook right now. And then chain one to close. So you can see how pretty these puff stitches look in this bright bulky yarn. Okay, so we're just gonna do this all the way around. We're gonna do a few more together and then we'll rejoin. Okay, so this next stitch, yarn around the hook, insert it into the stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, wrap yarn around the hook, insert it back into the seam stitch, bring up a loop, five loops on the hook, wrap yarn around the hook, insert it into the stitch again, bring up a loop. Seven loops are on our hook, wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through all seven loops on the hook, then chain one. So our little candies are looking very cute. This is a really cozy cowl that's also very bold and bright for a winter day. Okay, let's see. The next stitch, we'll do one more together and then we'll rejoin in a moment when the round is complete. Okay, so wrap yarn around hook, insert it into the stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, wrap yarn around hook, insert it back into the stitch, bring up a loop, five loops on the hook, wrap yarn around hook, back into the same stitch, bring up a loop, seven loops are on our hook. I like to give it a little tug to neaten things up. Wrap yarn around hook, bring through all seven loops on the hook. Takes a little bit of wiggling, okay? Then chain one to close the stitch, okay? I'm gonna keep going with my puff stitches and we'll rejoin towards the end of the round and I'll show you how to finish the cowl. So we're just working that last puff stitch of the round. And bring it through all seven loops. And then chain one. Okay. Then this chain three at the beginning of the round, we're just gonna join with a slip stitch to close. There we go. And then we're finished. So we can cut the yarn and fasten off. So to finish your cowl, what you're gonna do is just repeat. I just wanted to show you what we have so far. These little puff stitches in bright pink look so cute. And we just have a little bit of yarn left we could use for something else. But these um, puff stitches look very cute. So where we joined, at the beginning of the round. Uh, we're gonna, to finish our cowl, we're gonna work round two, uh, two more times to finish off the top of the cowl. This isn't a very tall cowl, but it is bulky, so it'll still be warm. Now you can make yours more rounds if you like. So what we're gonna do in this, this stitch where we um, joined, we're gonna insert our hook and join the new yarn. Again, if you have a preferred yarn joining technique you'd like to do, definitely do that instead. I just like to tie it on. Okay, so we're just gonna tie on the new yarn. So what we're gonna do is just insert your hook into the same stitch where you tied the yarn on, bring up a loop and chain three. One, two, three. Now we're gonna be working a double crochet in between each one of these puffs. So we're gonna be working into the spaces of this round and that'll set off these stitches really nicely. So work a double crochet in between each one of these puff stitches into the spaces. See, so you can see these two puffs, we're gonna be working right into that hole right there. Okay, so go ahead and just work a double crochet in between each puff stitch all the way around. So I'm gonna keep going and then we'll rejoin towards the end of this round and I'll show you how to finish off this round as well. Okay, I'm working that last double crochet to finish off the round. And then we'll join with a slip stitch where we began that chain three at the beginning of the round and just join, okay? So one more round to go for our cowl. So this round, we're just gonna chain three. One, two, three. And then just work a double crochet in each 
stitch all the way around. And this will be our last and final round of our cowl. So just work a double crochet all the way around in each stitch. Okay, we're in the home stretch, working that last double crochet in that last stitch to finish off our cowl. So we're just gonna do the same thing, join to close with a slip stitch. And then we can take our scissors and cut and fasten off. Now, if you wanna work more rounds, definitely feel free to do that. You could even add um, another round of puff stitches and then another two rounds of double crochet um, if you like. So we're gonna stop here though. And this cowl has, because we use this fuzzy, fluffy yarn, has a really nice soft drape to it. It's not too bulky. Um, I didn't wanna make it too, too tall because it would be a lot bulkier. So it's just a really simple, very quick cow for gift giving. And we just have our ends to weave in at this point. So grab your tapestry needle and just thread that right on. You want a larger one for this because the yarn is pretty thick. So just thread your tapestry needle and then just go on the inside of the cow and weave it in. Stay in this blue area so that it won't show through this pink. So you're just gonna come in one direction Whoops, my, my yarn popped off. Sometimes you have to just give it a little fresh cut because it gets a little bit unraveled, okay? So we, I came in one direction, then we're gonna come back into the other direction just to kind of lock that end in a little bit, okay? So you can pull your tapestry needle out and trim. I have a couple more ends I'm gonna weave in as well. I have my cow inside out right now. So I'm just gonna weave in all of these other ends. Now, if you wove your ends in as you went along, I did that for a couple of it, my ends, but not all of them. But if you wove your ends in as you went along, you um, save yourself a ton of time at the end. And lots of people are all that crazy about weaving in ends anyway, okay? So once you get all your ends woven in, your cow will be complete. So I'm just gonna do one more, and then you can just weave in however many ends you have left. Okay, so just come in the other direction with that. Okay, so I have a couple more and I'll weave those in also. And then once you're done, we'll weave those in. But once you're done, you can turn your cow right side out. And again, you can work more rounds if you like. It's totally up to you. So our cow looks really pretty and it's bright and soft, really perfect for the colder months ahead, okay? So that is how you crochet the Candy Shop Cow. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiberflux video updates. Thanks again.